Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I tend to jam pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast, so while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Soldier movie thoughts. So, about that ending action scene. Obviously, the remote controlled, you know, he uses like strings. The, the dummy, there's no way that he could actually have properly aim by using just these, these strings. And the, I love that he actually fires a rocket. I think he fires at least one directly at a guy, but at another point he fires it at, I'm not entirely sure, some, some garbage of some kind, and it like, you know, that hits the, the guy, which he could have easily just shot directly. Yeah, Anderson... <laughs> He, Anderson always comes up with these ridiculous gags where that might have been cool if it made sense that the guy was doing it. And at times, he, you know, they don't even make sense from just even like, you know, yeah, there are times where they defy the laws of physics and various, yeah, when when he uses the helicopter blade to slice open Kane's stomach. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure that you even even like a heightened strength you know person would be able to swing that thing just yeah. And I'm also not entirely sure that it would really be sharp enough to I mean, they're, they're very thin, I guess they're fairly sharp, but it, it's not a, you know, a sword or the, yeah, I, I don't know. Actually, maybe, maybe it's not quite as exaggerated, as, as unrealistic as I'm thinking, but I definitely don't believe that he could have swung it by just... Yeah, just like that. Now, of course, love when he's like, you know, puts his hand on on the forehead of, you know, it's like, I will heal you, my child. And the, I think that pretty much covers that last bit there. The, the boot with the is. It's pretty funny with, you know, I mean, the, you know, they're, they're like unsure whether they should keep Todd around. And it's like, okay, you almost killed the, the scarf guy. Is that Michael Chiklis? I, I think I read that he's, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not great with recognizing his face. I haven't seen him in that much stuff, but, but yeah. You know, he's like, scarf, scarf, and yeah, he's, he's like almost killing him, and, and everybody's standing there watching, and that, you know, we can, we can look the other way about, about that, but the kid, that's where we draw the line. I mean, Chiklis, we were probably going to off him ourselves anyway. And, yeah, he's, he's like, you know, no, you just grab a boot and, you know, whack it. And, you know, it's, it's always awkward when an older male has to teach a young male to whack it. But th them's the bricks. <laughs> that was a poor choice. Of, of phrase there but but yeah you know he's like no you can you can do it you just grab a boot 
and you know, and he gets in the boot, and and the kid's like almost, and he grabs the the snake, and again, this is where a non Paul W. Paul w. Paul W. S. Anderson movie would have it just okay. So he kills it, and then you know maybe next time it goes better for the game. Nope, he just grabs it and throws it away. And it's like, okay, now you do it. You know what? Maybe that's why the the parents. Maybe they saw that whole thing and they were like, I will not have you, Paul W. S. Anderson, in this house. Get out. And. <laughs> And then later, the, the kid actually does, you know, you see the snake go all the way up and it's just about to kill them. And the kid grabs it, flings it away. <laughs> yeah, he's got you there. That, that took care of that snake pretty, yeah, pretty nicely. Now, the... I suppose that might more or less cover it. And we, we of course, have the, the other military guys. I mean, obviously, Colonel Meekum is the big bad. He's the one really supposed to hate. But, you know, it's, it's sort of like, are we supposed to kind of sort of sympathize? With, I mean, certainly Busey seems reasonable enough. He you know, he doesn't want to get rid of the you know, the older soldiers and it's yeah, you know, he's he certainly wants to make sure that the newer ones are actually better. He he doesn't just take them take it at face value that these newer soldiers are better. And yeah, from he yeah he he seems like maybe we're supposed to sympathize with him somewhat, but then he gets shot, and it's again it's it's um it's an anderism. He you know we think there's going to be like a discussion, and then he gets shot, and it's this thing. I don't mind that they kill off the character, but it's. It's, it's a dramatic event that happens when you're expecting something else. This is something that Anderson thinks is, is like clever and he's subverting. Now he's just, for one thing, it's not subverting cliches because he, it's a cliche of his own. It, you know, it's certain, it became that very quickly. I mean, you know, yeah, I've, I've watched every movie of his other than shopping and yeah, all of them have it. So if you watch just one movie, then the second movie you watch, you recognize it. So, yeah. And it's also, it's not good storytelling to just suddenly have something, you know, something happen out of nowhere without build-up and then, you know, other times build-up that doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, so Busey gets killed off and the other two, the... You know, the ones that aren't Meekum, are we supposed to sort of maybe sympathize with it? Because then they're at the end. They're obviously, they're left to die, and we're happy about that, I, I guess. Yeah, it's just, uh, and sure, I mean, they're near the end. Certainly the, you know, the, the female one got really, I should have said, the, the woman she was, you know, really obnoxious to the, the old generation of soldiers. I mean, it's like, do we get weapons? No, only soldiers get weapons. Yes, sir. You don't have to call me sir anymore. It's like, okay, do you, do you want to tear off their uniforms too? Do, do you want to leave them anything? Just, yeah, and, and that guy actually did pretty good too. Like, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's actually just... He's, he's got a little bit of the puppy dog eye thing going on. He, he gets our sympathy, certainly. But, but yeah, I really couldn't tell if we were supposed to. And, again, I watched this movie several times before. I can never quite tell if we're supposed to like or dislike 
the the other officers. So, yeah, I think that covers everything. Yes. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.